Hey folks, Lolo Loco here, and welcome to day 11 of Inktober. I apologize again for this video being late, horribly late. Oops, I missed a day. <laughs> I was called into another shift at work and was planning to just write off this day and, you know, do two tomorrow. T today. I'm confused. <laughs> But then I ended up getting home early and decided to film the video anyway, yesterday, and then upload it today because I didn't finish the actual piece until like 11pm, which is also the reason why I'm using a desk lamp for my lighting in this video. So the prompt for day 11 was anger slash witch, so I did something fun and merged the two prompts together. Sketching out the thumbnail tests took way longer than they usually do. I couldn't get the pose I wanted because originally I wanted her to be walking forward, but then that looked too overly sexual and not strong like I wanted, so I tried to change the pose to something stronger, but then I had trouble transferring that into the final piece. And then I remembered that I wanted her to be in a dress. So the legs I had spent so long on were going to be covered anyway, but oh well, it's fine. I'm not bitter about it or anything. It like, I, it's, I like the way it turned out. I don't mind spending a long time on something I didn't end up needing in the end. It's fine. Like, I don't mind. I'm over it. It's, it's okay. I don't care. I'm so bitter. <laughs> so bitter. It did help me figure out where I needed the dress to go, though, so I suppose it's okay. I mean, like, I guess. I wanted this piece to just be overflowing with power, like I just wanted everything in this one to be on a grander scale than I've been doing before. I tried a different angle when drawing the head, which, you know, had mixed results, but I'm very happy with how it turned out, for, you know, it being the first time I've really tried an angle like that. I need to experiment more. I don't try a lot of stuff often. <laughs> and, you know, I'm happy that I even decided to try to do that angle. You know, this is really good for me. I have such a bad case of same face syndrome and drawing things with the same kind of themes. So being able to experiment with a different theme and a face that had some stronger features than the women that I usually draw, you know, was really nice. I was also able to draw that lovely hair, like just going all over the place, you know, just going everywhere. Something that I love about fantasy, you know, like a little trope that I adore, is when a person starts to use their full power and just the environment around them just slowly dissolves into chaos. You know, like the sky suddenly going dark and the wind picks up and this person is just at the centre of it all, like it's just so satisfying to me. And I really had fun with this one because, you know, as I've said before, I love giving flow to my art, so having this witch wearing this gorgeous, light and airy, billowing dress with these lovely big sleeves and lovely long hair is just a mixture of all of my favourite things. I loved it. It was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. <laughs> The ink washes were very important to this piece, I think. I don't think I would have been able to give the same atmosphere and effect to the finished piece if I had just been using the pen. I'm also much more used to using this ink now, especially uh, watered down with this paper in my moleskin journal. The paper is a little bit fussy, but it doesn't soak through to the next page and it holds well, and because of the little elastic on the book, I can press the paper flat again even after it's curled because of the water. I really liked being able to work with the tones to balance out the piece, how the background is darker around the edges and paler around the figure, how it's balanced with her dark hair and her darker dress. Like, originally, I don't think I was going to make her hair be that dark, but oh, there you go, that, that's how it went, that's what you get, it was a, it was a fun time. That, that's how I work, trial and error, and usually it's wrong, but sometimes it works out. <laughs> 
Okay, right, so what I was super excited about with this one was the magic, okay? Okay, so as soon as I saw this prompt, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and I had just bought this lovely metallic gold ink with all the other inks that I bought, and it's so lovely and so opaque, and again, I've popped the brand in the description, it's real nice. It really gave the whole thing another layer to the overall feel of it, and I was so happy that I was able to use it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please pop me a like, it really helps me out. And if you like my art, maybe give me a cheeky little subscribe. I hope you're having a lovely time wherever you are, and stay safe. Ta-da!